Hello, welcome to my channel Reread. I'm Rhiannon and today I wanted to do a quick video because I'm going to be participating in the Diversathon which runs from the 22nd of January to the 29th of January and I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for this because I like, I want to try and read diversely because it's important to educate yourselves on different cultures, different religions, different disabilities, and so on and so forth. I've, I've chosen books that I would like to read for certain reasons, um, and also I am going to include, include one book which I... which is not written by someone... it's not written by, um... someone with the condition, but I read it at school and I um I saw myself I saw myself in the character a lot with this condition and it was even before actually before I even got diagnosed with the condition and that book I'm gonna start off will be a reread for me is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I'm including it in this because when I was reading it at school I saw a lot of myself in the character. Um Funnily enough, this ma the main character in the Curious Into the Dog of the Nighttime has Asperger's, but Mark Haddon didn't specifically write him, like he didn't, he accidentally wrote him, like that, and then a lot of people said, oh, he's got Asperger's, blah blah blah, and I actually do see some of myself in the main character in this book. Um, Mark Haddon doesn't have Asperger's, but he, um, but to me, with someone with the condition, I saw a lot of myself in it and it was before I even got diagnosed. I read it, I reread it after I got diagnosed and I can still relate to this character who has Asperger's and tries to solve a mystery of his neighbour's dead dog and um, it, it, and then I'm including this because I'm including it yeah, I'm including it in the, I'm, I'm reading it for this readathon because, like I said, it's very rare to find a book that you can see yourself in. You can see, um, and it's very hard to find a book about Asperger's that it, in fiction itself that's not non-fiction or written by own voice or, you know, written by um, people who um, bring out as books about Asperger's in a non-fiction way and a lot of as books about Asperger's are written by doctors or therapists who have worked with Asperger's but it, for me it was a revelation to read this book and I was like, gosh, that's me that is like totally me and it was very rare to read a fiction book that wasn't a non-fiction book about Asperger's basically and I definitely related to this book and um, I am going to reread it for the Diversifon because it means so much to me um, it, it, this book means so much to me and yes I'm very picky when it comes to books and authors who don't have Asperger's and write a character about Asperger's because they can get it wrong so many times um, and things like that the next book I want to reread as well for this Diversivon is Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Mallory Blackman is a UK author, she's also a person of colour. I read this book ages ago in school. She turns race in this book the other way round. In this book, black people are the most dominant race and white people are the poorer race. And it is very, this book, I have to admit, was very uncomfortable reading this for me. I don't like the ending of this book. This book, the ending of this book is uh, horrible. Um, you need tissues for this book as well. We're recommending tissues. It is a series as well. I would love it to be made into a film because I think it's a, such an important book to read as well. Especially when ra the races are turned on its head, like you know, it's all opposite and it's like set in a parallel, parallel you know world where you know, blacks are more dominant and whites are the lesser class. It's quite, um, it's quite a really fascinating read. And I ha I read the graphic novel last year as well, so if you want to check out the graphic novel as well, I would really recommend you do that. Marley Blackman is just a superb author and she's, writ she wrote she's written this series really well and really, um, you know, also a really sensitiv sensitivity as well. It's, it's like, um... I would say this is like a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. So, um, Callum is a nought, Sephi is a cross, and they fall in love with each other, and they can't, you know, and in, in a world where they can't be together, and then they have to contide, you know, um, they have their families to, like, please and everything else, and it's a really interesting read, and I would re definitely recommend this book. I would definitely, I 
definitely recommend this book to read. To read. The next book I want to read is I Am Mal Malala. She was she is the girl who got shot in the head by the Taliban because she stood up for um, education in Pakistan and then she was thrown over to the UK. Um, she is the most inspira inspirational person I've seen in the media um, to date, and she wrote a book about her exper about her experiences. And um, I really want to read this book. I got this for Christmas like three years ago and I still haven't read it. And um, the Diversathon is going to be a great way to um, learn about what her life was like and her education and living in a living in a country that the Taliban controlled as well. It will be interesting to read. So I'm looking forward to it. The next book I want to read if I get around to it is Half of a Yellow Sun. Um, I've always... I've had I bought this book ages ago. I really like the plot and I'm really intrigued in writing it. I'm in the intrigued in reading it as well. Um yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't really want to go I don't really want to read what it says on the back too much because I really want to go into this plot um blind this book blind so that's what I'm doing and then the next book I've had on my TBL for a while but my mum has rec my mum recommended me this book is the color purple by Alice Walker it, it um, is set in the Amer deep American South um, it has a person of color as the main character in this book um, she is raped and it's about how she is treated and things like that um, Yes, so this is going to be a very uncomfortable book as well, and um, I think that's what books should make you feel. They should make you, first of all, I think books should make you uncomfortable. I also think books should make you want to research, re research everything, as you know, make you want to research. I think there should be more diverse books. I think there should be m more authors who are willing to write diverse books. As well, I think there should be more own voices books, especially in fiction with Asperger's and autism. I like more own voices in that. Um, the books I've read about Asperger's and autism are mainly um, non-fiction books, but like I said, they are written by doctors and therapists who have worked with Asperger's or who know relatives of Asperger's that don't technically have autism or Asperger's themselves, but I like more own voices in fiction of Asperger's and more non-own voices in... Um, more own voices in non-fiction for Asperger's as well, um, which I found really hard to track down. So if you know any books that, you know, are own voices in Asperger's and autism, please let me know, because it'd be really interesting. I just want to make, as a reader, I want to be feel that I'm not alone with Asperger's. And there's another thing I would really, 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 really like as well, and it's more concentrated on TV and film. I would like them to get type 1, like, the differences between type 2 and type 1 diabetics, like right because they're totally two different different conditions i would also like if if any any publishers or authors who may have type 1 diabetes or type 2 or you know and ha have own voices please could you like release books about your your experiences with type diabetes as well and also i would like a non-fiction character that saves the world and has type 1 diabetes i would love to read about that because I have type 1 diabetes and Asperger's and The Curious Into the Dog of the Night Time I loved because I saw myself so much in that character but there is no characters I have come across yet that have to deal with saving the world and also having to inject daily with their type 1 diabetes. I would love a book about a character with type 1 diabetes, the main character, not just a side character to, you know, move the plot on I'm really and I think that's all part of the diverse form. you need to see yourself in books and not just you know and it's good to educate yourselves on different backgrounds on different cultures different gender and what other people are going through not just you know it shouldn't be just up to tv and film it should the book and publishing industry need to get on with this as well so yes if there are any publishers out there please 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 get someone to write a book with someone who has type 1 diabetes i like to see that happen in the future. I might even get down to that actually and write more myself. So anyway, that was my TBR for, my diverse, for the Diversifone. I hope you enjoy the week. Um, I will probably post pictures on Instagram of my TBR and also on my blog of why I've chosen the books that I have chosen. Um, but yes, let's just, you know, you know, 
know, let's just make people listen and, you know, people, you know, let's just make the pub publishing industry listen and just um, take stock that they're responsible of including own voices and diverse, diver and being diverse in their stories. And authors as well should also need to be more brave enough, especially own voices authors should be more brave enough to, you know, um, write about what they want to write about and what, and if they're, you know, disabled, they should write their character that's, you know, from their own, from, you know, write character that they want to write in their book and be more inclusive. So, yes, that is my diversity on TBR. I will see you, off. I'll see you in my wrap up, maybe on Monday. So, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.